Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Today we are in Psalm 89. Uh, your daily grip today, uh, hopefully it means as much to you as it did to me. What verses rose up for you? For me, verses 5 through 7. Let me share those with you. All heaven will praise your great wonders, Lord. Myriads of angels will praise you for your faithfulness. For who in all of heaven can compare with the Lord? What mightiest angel is anything like the Lord? The highest angelic power stand in awe of God. He is far more awesome than all who surround his throne. Wow. Here's my R, my reveal. It's good to fill our mind with the truths in these verses. God is awesome. The wonder of his goodness and mercy should make us stand in awe. Imagine thousands, even millions of angels praising his name. Wow. Here's my eye, my implementation. Do we understand scripture when it tells of God's wonder, majesty, and awesomeness? If so, we too will stand in awe of the Lord and his grandeur. Make it a part of our worship to stand in awe of the Lord. I just got to tell you, this past Sunday at church, our choir did a special. Uh, there were about 90 in the choir and about 40 or 45 in the, in the orchestra. It was something spectacular. Uh, the children... Um, started the song. There were about 30 children up there singing. And everybody in the congregation, we were, we were seated while the song was being sung, but as the song progressed, uh, many in the, many in the church stood in awe. Um, and I was one of those. I just, sometimes I just feel like the Lord just impresses me to stand and raise my hand and uh, just worship him. And there were many in there that were doing that. And by the end of the song, everybody was standing. It was a sight to see. Now imagine millions of angels standing in awe of God. Uh, that's what these verses are about. Just gives me chills to think about that. Uh, we were just able to see a, a bit of that uh, this past Sunday at church to, to enjoy that. Here's my P, my prayer. Father, we do stand in awe of you. Remind us daily of the splendor of heaven as we toil in this world. May our worship of you be like the myriad of angels that praise you and stand in awe of you. Amen. That's my prayer, uh, that we would be able to do that and understand that. Now let me pray for you on our way out. Father, uh, just uh, allow us the freedom to worship you wherever we are, in our quiet space, in our cars on the way to work, our home, at work, at church, at play, on the golf course, wherever we are, may we be able to worship you uh, in spirit and in truth. And Father, just, uh, Lord, impress upon us these verses that all those angels worshiping you in heaven, the grandeur of all of that, uh, that we might just be reminded of that when we, when we are down or when we're facing something that um, may be very difficult. Uh, I pray that we would be reminded of these verses. Father, we thank you and love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow.